All right, Joellen, let's talk about lawn alternatives, right? Not everybody wants a nice, plush, beautiful zoysia or Bermuda lawn, right? No, no. Mm -hmm. And we, first, we got to find out what. What do you want to do with your yard? Right. I mean, you've got all this space around your house. Mm -hmm. What is it? How do you use it? What is it used for? Okay. And maybe you can do something different with it. Um, also, do you have kids? Do they need to run around on something right. large and flat? Um, how about pets? Mm -hmm. Now, it's uh, dogs don't necessarily need grass all the time. Okay. So th any surface they'll run on, <laughs> they'll have fun, you know. So so pets, you don't have to have a lawn just for you say, oh, well, I can't get rid of my lawn because I have a dog. No, they they don't care. Right. They don't care. They really don't care. <laughs> um, also, you might have a steep slope mm -hmm. that you don't want to mow anymore, and that would. You yeah, know, it would be nice to have something different on it. Sure. Um, also, you might have a shady area under a tree, mm -hmm. can't mm -hmm. get grass to grow. Mm -hmm. Or there might be small spaces on maybe the north side or in a niche somewhere around your house that doesn't get a lot of sunlight and grass doesn't grow. Um, all these zero lot lines now, you know, there's very small space. And on the north side, sometimes grass doesn't, there's yeah, not yeah, enough light exactly right. to grow because exactly. the building is there. Mm -hmm. um, so we just got to, to, uh, Think about how you're going to use the space first, or okay. what the problem is that you're trying to solve. Okay. Now, one thing you do need to remember: I know you know you don't have to do something every week with an alternative, but you still have to maintain it at some ah, point. So it still has to be maintained. Yeah, there is there right. is no such That's thing as thing. a no maintenance right. lawn right. uh, landscape. I was There's waiting no, for you to say that. There is no sense of, right. uh, you know, you might save your time every week, but uh -huh. you're going to have to work out there at some point. Good, good point. So good let's point. go over the expensive things you All can right. do. <laughs> Look at Mr. D. He like <laughs> Put in a pool. He knows. You know, it's Put hot outside. Pool. Put in a pool. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah that's, that's, a, that's an expensive one. How about a basketball court or a uh -huh. volleyball court? Uh -huh. There's a lot of people that, you know, build up sand and make a, their own permanent uh -huh. volleyball courts out there. Um, a uh, putting green, putting green, but made of artificial turf. Artificial there turf, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, but, and right. then, then let's talk about artificial turf, because okay. you know that's used a lot in the southwest and in the uh -huh. xeriscaping, because they want the green look, right. but they don't want, they can't grow grass, so they don't want to use the water for grass. It takes a lot less water. A okay. lot less <laughs> water. <laughs> yeah. mowing, but right? it still <laughs> has to be maintained. Okay. And wear it out. Yeah, mm. you still, it still has to be maintained. Okay. Um, how about ponds? To put mm -hmm. fish in. Mm -hmm. In fact, I remember seeing a whole backyard that was a series of ponds that were all connected. They had a lot of koi fish in them, mm -hmm. and then they had paths over them with patio areas here and there and landscaping, and it was really nice. Yeah. But that's kind of expensive to right. do. Right, you gotta, gotta maintain, maintain those too, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have to maintain that, mm -hmm. yes. All right, well, so those are the expensive things. Yeah, now, like some, other, some, yeah. of the, some of these other things are can be expensive, but they're not as expensive. Like, like gravel. Like gravel, <laughs> yes. We're, we're going to talk about hardscapes. All right. You okay. know, flagstones, all different kinds of, okay. you know, Arkansas oh, yeah. flagstone. There's blue flagstone. There's all kinds of okay. stone out there that you can make paths with. Okay. And you can either cement them together and make it nice and flat, or you can just set them on the ground and then plant little dwarf plants around them uh, so it's not solid I like that. landscaping. Yeah. Then there is bricks and brick pavers. Concrete pavers that you know look like bricks that you put together. Mm -hmm. There are rocks, rocks. There's mulch. Yeah. There are yeah. seashells. Seashells. But you know oh. what? You, I would highly recommend. In most places that that have, ro especially rocks, as part of the landscaping, they will put landscape fabric down first. Uh -huh. So, because our soil around here, if we, you step on those rocks, you're going to there's going to end up into oh, the soil, then, then, okay. then it's defeating the purpose. Right. Yeah. Uh, but in the same token, you you can do a lot of interesting things with different rocks, and I have seen that. Oh, but okay. if you let the leaves and debris fall on that and don't pick it up, it's going to just decompose, and then you're going to have the same problem on with okay. your rocks where, where there's going to be organic matter for weeds to grow. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you've well, got, you've got to make, there's maintenance to all of these mm -hmm. different things. Uh, oh, there is something called a porous concrete. There's, they're doing this a lot. You can, you pour water over the concrete and just goes right straight through it. Yeah, I've seen those. And so it really, really nice, it's kind of expensive. Uh, I've seen people put that on their driveway in strips. 
Mm. You know, just where the tires go, and then they'll plant l gr low ground cover in between. Yeah, the old Hollywood Drive is what mm -hmm. they call that. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, it, but that's that's one way to mm. use that. And then, of course, there's also uh, polymers. They'll put aggregate and polymers, and it's, it's supposed to look like concrete. So mm. there's and they make stepping stones out of there. There's 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 many more things out there that you can use, but hardscapes, okay. not a plant. Hardscape. Then we gotta talk about plants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so you right. say, say, well, I don't wanna do any of those things or I don't have enough area that I wanna do, I wanna do something else. Okay, there are people that use meadows as mm -hmm. their yard. Now, a lot of people have long amounts of, of uh, turf to use with this, large properties, mm -hmm. you know, they will get meadow mixes from different parts of the country. There's, they're formulated for different parts okay. of the country. So you can get a meadow mix and you can find ornamental grasses and plants that are native to mm -hmm. your area. And then you plant those okay. instead of grass. See that, okay. All right, so that's one thing you can do. And that's kind of, you know, popular. And I had a, a ornithologist friend of mine who said he, he was going to do that with his yard because oh the meadow the meadow because he, he thought it would attract more birds. So you don't mow uh, it; you just kind of let it grow up. Yeah, it's because it's it's all native and it doesn't get you know real high or tall. So okay, I got some native stuff at my place that gets <laughs> real tall. <laughs> it's real tall. Uh, <laughs> some of the native stuff is mare's tail. Yeah, and, you know, it'll get twelve feet tall. Well, <laughs> see, and that's one of the problems that we are going to have in this area yeah. with changing anything other than grass, yeah. even though we have the same problem with grass, is we have a lot of weed pressure here. Yes, we do. Yeah. We are in a transition zone, so we get northern weeds and southern weeds mm -hmm. and everything in between. Eastern and in weeds the, and western weeds. We have perennial <laughs> we weeds covered. and annual weeds. Yeah, we we have uh, winter weeds and summer weeds. So that is going to be the major problem in the Mid-South here with us trying to keep something else other than lawns. Because the weeds, are, a lot. Of, if my lawn is mostly crabgrass anyway, oh, so, yeah. so you know, so is, so is um, and not back. grass, it wouldn't be green if it weren't right, for those that's two. Right. <laughs> that's right. So uh, right you know, it's, there's weeds everywhere. But another thing you might try is mass plantings. There's you know, just a series of beds with your flagstone in between, and just have just trees, shrubs, plants, you know, perennials, annuals. Just mix it all up. You just have different areas and just mass that kind of planting. Which would help cut down maybe on some of your weed pressure. It yeah, would. The now, if you've got shady area, right. moss. Moss. Moss I've is really popular. Of, yeah, I've mm -hmm. seen a lot and of moss. And moss looks moss. really, really good it in the does. shade. Yeah, and I don't, does. you know, it really does more mimic lawn mm -hmm. than anything else good. that I can think of. And it's very easy to maintain. So, I mean, moss is a great alternative mm. for, a, for a shady area. Okay. Another thing that seems to be popular is clover, both Dutch yeah. clover and red clover. Right. But I was thinking about that, and you know that can be a foot tall or so, or you know get up that way. And if you have animals and kids that are running around, that might be a little prohibitive for them to run around on. Right. But yeah. if you don't, that would be a great alternative. And you might. If you're running around barefooted, you might get stung by a honeybee. Yeah, you might, you right? might. I'm speaking from experience. I've oh, so you that. know that. Yeah. All right. You might get stung by a bee. You never know. Um, and of course, there's all kinds of plants that are used as ground covers. We've got mondo grasses. We've got um, vinca major and vinca yeah. minor. We've got uh, shrubs that are small, mm -hmm. like uh, junipers. junipers. There's a lot of yeah. ground-hugging mm -hmm. junipers that will do great in a sunny or on a slope area. Mm -hmm. um, we've got Oh, good grief, um, Nandinas that are dwarf, uh, monkey grasses, creeping yeah. jenny, ajuga. I mean, you, the list it's goes on and on, and it can. And we're talking hostas, daylilies, shade. We've got stuff for shade. They've got stuff for partly shade. We've got stuff for sunny. So anything will work. You can plant something anywhere. Just remember, there is going to be some maintenance with it. It's going to be some maintenance. Yep. You never today. I hear that. <laughs> Some more than others. Some yes. more than others. Joel, that was good stuff. Thank you much. Thank you much. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.